where, oh my god, where should I fucking start about this fucking game? What a fucking game. That's what, that's all I have to say right now. What a fucking goddamn fucking game. You have no idea what, how fucking happy I am. You know, what I just fucking witnessed, just absolute, um, I'm just so happy now. I got a stomach ache from the game. I got almost a heart attack from the game. And I, I, I got a freaking... I got happiness coming out of me right now. All I have to say is 53 yards. That's all I have to say. 53 yard field goal in the final second to win the game. Just crazy game. And... I just have to say this, this game was just perfect for Sunday night, and 31-28, we end up beating the Packers, 9-2 on the season, my boys are killing it, let's fucking go, Woo! you know, I, I really thought that we were going to blow Let's just put it this way. I really thought that we were going to fuck this up. Honestly, I don't know why. Because, you know, I almost, honestly, I almost wasn't going to go to this game. And, you know, I called their quarterback a piece of shit that can't do anything. I thought this was going to be a blow up by the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, I take back what I said. You know, I, I have tremendous respect for the Green Bay Packers. You know, I don't give a fuck if they beat us in the Super Bowl. You know, that was a couple years ago. You can't, you know, talk about the past and shit. You know, this organization is great. The fans just... But anyways, I definitely want to give a huge shout out to Brett Hudley. Um, just a surprisingly... I don't think no one... And I'll say this. I don't think no one expected this guy... To go out there and play against this team right here. Just a fantastic performance. And you know, I take back what I said about him being shitty and all that. But anyways, big props to Brett Cully on a fantastic game. I didn't expect him to play this well. He gave us he gave us a lot of pressure and worry. Like like I said, I had a heart attack. I had a stomach ache throughout this game. But anyways, but a win is a win. It wasn't it was an ugly win. It just went I wouldn't say ugly. I would say it's ugly because I, you know, we had some bad plays. You know. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but props to your quarterback, Green Bay Packers fans. And Green Bay Packers fans, I'll say this. I definitely would consider Brett Hudley to be maybe a next quarterback for you guys. You know, if Aaron Rodgers retires. Because he, he, he does have potential. And, you know, it's embarrassed for our Steelers fans to see this because you guys didn't do too much against the Ravens last week. You guys didn't score any points. And look at us. You guys are playing a high-level team in us and you almost beat us with this quarterback so it's embarrassing because you know Raven fans are laughing at us Bengals Brown fans are laughing at us everyone you know but a win is a win it was ugly you know we had some bad plays but it went back and forth we had some fantastic drives it is what it is and I want to talk about this game you know, but props to the Packers, and I'm serious, Packer fans. You know, you guys should consider that quarterback as a future quarterback, like a starting quarterback. If Aaron Rodgers retire, he end up will be retiring. But you know, obviously, I just want to, I just want to say this about the Steelers defense. So, you know, we gave up a lot of plays. You know, Joe Hayden. I mean, like Joe Hayden is out with injury. Steelers fans that oh, if you pick my, if you put Mike Mitchell in there, it's gonna give us problems if we don't have Joe Hayden, which is true. 
but we still have good guys. You know, we had some sacks, we had some good plays. Um, I think Ben Roethlisberger had a fantastic game. Antonio Brown had two touchdowns. Xavier Grimbo had one. I believe there was one more. I can't remember who was the last one. I think it was. I can't remember who. But, you know, just great um, football to play, be played on a Sunday night. And I just want to talk about the first half of the game. First quarter, the, uh, the, the starting drive looked good. Uh, we scored a touchdown, and we missed a field goal with Chris Boswell, so we go up 6 nothing. This is when that quarterback, Brett, uh, Brett Hudley, comes out and shows his skills. We give up two touchdowns. I think one was a pass, one was a um, rush, and we were down 14-6. And, you know, the first quarter didn't look too good for us. And second quarter, we got a touchdown with Martinez Bryan. Yes, that's the other touchdown pass we had. Martinez Brown has the touchdown, and we get the two-point conversion with Antonio Brown. We tie up for the half, 14-14. First half was okay, but I will have to say this. I want to say this, though. The fucking referees in this game was a fucking joke. You know, Green Bay did not get penalized at all for a while in this game. You know, all the penalties came to us. You know, I, I remember there was this bullshit call where I think it was a receiver, I can't remember what it was, but it was a bullshit call on us because one of our receivers, it was face to the mask or something like that. I didn't see any of that shit. I was like, are you fucking serious? Like really, this is what, this is basically what NFL referees do. You know, they just randomly, you know, throw a flag, they think they're all tough, and they try to cause teams the game. They're trying to cost teams, different NFL teams, the game. I mean, like, the referees in this game was atrocious. You know, mostly us got penalized. I mean, like, referees, how fucking dare you try to, you know, give away this game to the, you know, the Packers. But it's alright, we fucking won. I don't give a fuck. You zebra, ugly ass motherfuckers, referees, Whatever you call it, you need to get fucking fired and get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of the league. You know, and while you at it, take two of these up your fucking ass while you at it. You know, take fucking two of these and shove it up your ass, huh? Go fuck yourself, refs. God damn it. But anyways, Green Bay had a couple penalized. Green Bay got penalized a couple times too. You know, like I said, the refs are just dumb, they're stupid, you know, they can go fuck themselves. But anyway, second half, you know, third quarter, um, again, the defense gives up. You know, this defense is not the same without Joe Hayden. You know, 21-14, a Brett Hudley, I think, froze the pass, yes, and they go up 21-14. Uh, ben Rosberger froze a... Ben Rosberger threw two interceptions in this game, and you know one was I think tipped. It was bullshit, and we end up getting the ball back, and we score with Antonio Brown tying up twenty-one apiece. I think it was Antonio Brown. Yes, twenty Antonio Brown, and then Antonio Brown again to lead, and then we lead them twenty-eight twenty-one, and the Packers just responded. They had a huge drive, and. You know, they actually, they actually, they were facing a 4th and 5 and they actually got it. That was good. And they end up getting a touchdown with a rush. They give, gave it to the running back. They tie up 28-28. Both teams had to punt at least one time. We got the ball back with only a few seconds left. Ben Rosberger, what he does best, we just went down the field. Chris Boswell was the game winner. That's it. You know, Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, Big Ben, just absolute monstrous. I just feel that our defense needs to work. We need to work on the defense. You know, the defense gave up a lot of points today. But a win is a win. It was an ugly win, and it went back and forth. It was a great game. You know, I couldn't get the fact that 53-yarder went in. 
But anyways, what a fucking win. But anyways, shout out to Packer fans, Matt Ogden, Nick Fargo, um, Packer Fantastic 98. Uh, shout out to, I believe it's Packers, Packers, I can't remember your name. Wow. Packers, Ray Bull fan, whatever, I had a bet with you. You know, honestly, you know, this doesn't feel like a win, but it is what it is. But, you know, a promise is a promise. You know, change your profile picture for a week. So, basically, today is Sunday. So, you can have your, you will have to have a Steelers logo put onto your YouTube profile picture. Packers, uh, Bull fan, whatever. So, you will have to have, find a Steelers logo. And you will have to put it on there for a week. So I will say you can I will say you can take it off by next week. So sometime next Sunday, next Monday. So anyways, shout out to all the Packers fans on a fantastic game. Good luck the rest of the season. And shout out to my boys, the Renegade 412, our leader, uh, Steel Jackson, Steel Jedi, who was at the game. I hope you had fun. Uh, Steel 74, Steel Legends, Steel Maiden, and the rest of the Steeler Nation. Eric Steel, uh, the Steel Twins, and Inside Wrestling Crews, MacMed70, Lady of Steel. If I missed anyone, let me know. Uh, the rest of the Steeler Nation, I'm Bruce Steel, and I'm out.